Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at the market site in Times Square, New York City, we have Andrea Blyden. She is the general manager at The Body Shop. We also have Lucas Tanner. He's a chief operating officer over at Greyston Bakery. We're going to take a look at open hiring. That's providing access to employment for everyone. It's great to have you both with us. And this is a topic that we're starting to hear more about in financial media. Over 600,000 people make the difficult decision uh, moving from incarceration back into corporate employment. Right. Tell us more about open hiring. Sure. Open hiring is a simple but extraordinary concept where we offer employment to people regardless of their background. We uh, don't have interviews and we don't have background checks, but we give people an opportunity to start working when they want to work. So there's no screening done at all during the application process? They need to be able to legally work in the country right. and they need to be able to fulfill the obligations of the job. So for example, at the bakery, they need to be able to lift a bag of flour, but there are no screening other than that, just their willingness to want to work. And what is the benefit to the companies that are adopting open hiring strategies? Well, for us, we adopted the same model as Greystone Bakery does in our DC over the holiday season. And the benefit was one, because we are an activist brand and we believe that you know society does not create equalities right now and there are barriers for employment that business can be a force for good and that we can really leverage this model to provide equal access to employment. So through our DC pilot that we launched in September, we saw phenomenal rates, uh, reduction in turnover rates. So our, our turn reduced by 60% compared to the prior year because you have a group of people that are really, really committed to working that haven't had access to employment. So you're giving them something that they need and they're very dedicated to making sure that they do a great job. We also saw a great improvement in our KPIs over the holiday season. So our KPIs went up by 13%. More units were picked every single hour. So we, we saw it uh, in, in twofold, the, the, how easy it was to hire people and then two through the performance in our DC. All right, let's take a step back here, Lucas. And yep. Grayson Bakery, you created and implemented opening hiring in 1982. That's what correct. have been some of the challenges? What have been some of the successes? Right, so I would say that the, the, the challenges have been learning just how to provide the wraparound services that um, the employees may need. And that's one of the qualities of open hiring that we have imparted. Um, one of the great successes is that we found extraordinary reduction in either poverty, unemployment, and reduction in recidivism rates, which from a social impact we think is extraordinary. But we've also found that we've had um, remarkable production quality and growth as a company. So over the last seven years, we've had a 12% annual Kager at our bakery, but we've also found um, a community and a team of extraordinary employees. So I actually think it's a better business model to hire people who want to work in the manner we're doing it as just a business operating perspective, but from social impact perspective, we've seen extraordinary numbers of, of, of uh, social impact. Have you ever gotten any pushback from current employees? We haven't. I mean, the culture of our organization for almost 40 years has been about inclusiveness and removing these barriers to employment and uh, removing any kind of unconscious bias to population groups that we would hire. So it's part of our DNA. We, we find it to be what brings us together. All right, let's go back to the body shop here because you have a long history of commitment to corporate responsibility, yes. um, all the way down to the products, which, which I've been buying um, you know, my, my entire life. But do, practicing open hiring, is that for a specific area of the company? Do you think it's something that'll open up on a broader basis? Sure, so in our DC, we're gonna continue to do it. So we launched the pilot, it was successful over the holiday season, so we'll continue as we have open roles, using open hiring to fill those, those roles. And the goal is in summer of this year that we roll it out to the customer consultant b base in our retail stores. So we wanna take this model and expand, and that also gives us the ability to open this up nationwide because you know our stores cover a lot more than just the area of where our DC is. Mm -hmm. So we're working in close partnership with Greystone Bakery to come up with a program for retail. And when you say DC, you mean distribution center? Yes, sorry, distribution oh, right. center. So this could be a really good time for open hiring right now with unemployment at record low levels. There are certain skill sets that are just not being able to be fulfilled. This could be a great time right now where corporations are looking for that skill set. You have someone coming out who's eager, wants to learn, they could be trained um, based on the company wants them to fit within their model. So I think it's a really exciting time for it. Um, what does a company need to do to support and retain talent that they bring on through open hiring? Yeah, so I think for us, it really, it, it's about building the right training program. 
So we're working very closely with a company that supported Greystone Bakery and building what that path making program looks like, making sure that as you onboard people, and this doesn't just include open hiring any employee that you bring in, that you're giving them the, the right training to get to the next step. So it's, it's pretty similar with the program that they go through at the bakery, that they go through an apprenticeship program. And as you get months of service, you hit different levels. And so we're, we're looking at what that looks like for our retail stores right now. So Lucas, there is an opportunity for advancement for sure to move up through the ranks. There are, um, and I was just gonna add to, to your point, you know, great HR, treating people with trust and dignity is really the core to making open hiring successful. We do include uh, you know, a social worker at our company who connects people to wraparound services that are available through the community that helps them be successful in achieving whatever barriers they may otherwise face. So we do provide supportive services and that's important, but ultimately it's training good HR and you know, treating people with dignity and respect that makes it a successful model. Yeah, and if I can add, I think it's also about educating when you're launching a program like open hiring for us it was also about giving everyone the right education what open hiring is and what open hiring is not and making sure that the the team in place understands really what what we're doing and why and we really leveraged a lot of grayston and what they've done to help put everyone at ease to to make everyone understand that this isn't just about hiring more people because we actually don't have a difficult time filling these roles. There, there is a lot of people that want to work for the body shop, but it's really about, for us, setting an example that business can be different. Yeah, and that goes back to the question I was asking before, if there is any pushback mm -hmm. from um, employees in place, but I think when you present it from that perspective where you're offering, and I think it's great that you had mentioned this, that it's not just what's happening at the bakery, but the social services that you're looping them into Absolutely. all around. So you're creating a career, a, li a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. right. for everything. And I'd like to say, you know, open hiring has been infectious. We're, we're thrilled with the body shops doing other companies like Ben & Jerry's, who's one of our biggest customers. You know, they, they have an inclusive hiring practice and people are learning there are different ways to make open hiring work for them. So there's not just one set of rules, but there's one, you know, any way of customer Customizing those rules may make it work for, for people. So we're asking people to consider one rule, one job as a beginning to open hiring, to make it a more inclusive economy and a more socially uh, just environment for whatever community they come from. All right, Lucas Andrew, thanks so much for joining us at MarketSite. And thank you for joining me on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.